Hi guys, I'm Adam Wilborn from What Culture outside the Crypto.com arena. Here to bring you what went down on the Raw after WrestleMania. The Simon Miller section is in full effect. I love it. I love it. It's going to get dicey. So the show started with Triple H's. The show started with Triple H's big announcement. He wanted to thank everyone. He wanted to thank everyone, including, let's hear it for Stu. And he was here to tell us that WWE ain't going nowhere. And then he brings out, here we go, everyone, the tribal chief Roman Reigns. A divided crowd for Roman Reigns, but I will say he's got a big, a big fan there in a bowling pin. So yeah, a lot of heat, as you can probably tell here. And then, and then, wait a second, Roman tells Hollywood to acknowledge me. Cody Rhodes, of course, interrupts. We all know what he wants to talk about. One word, rematch. Paul Heyman though, Paul Heyman says no rematch for you. He says, how about a tag match? Paul Heyman sets out the rules. This person has to have wrestled at WrestleMania. And if they tag with Cody, they will never have a world title match as long as the tribal chief is world champion. And that brings out, ladies and gentlemen, Brock bloody Lesnar. More on that a little bit later on. We got a squash victory for Omos over Elias. He hit him with a tree slam. Hey, we got the Homo sapiens in attendance, ladies and gentlemen. That was followed. See, you see, you see, that's what happens. That's quite right. That is what happens though, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, a squash match in, 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 in everything. Three minutes, tree slam, one, two, three for Omos. Then Rey Mysterio came out. Let's hear it for Hall of Famer, Rey Mysterio. He may be a deadbeat dad, but he is a legend. I'll give you that, I'll give you that. He's interrupted by... Austin Theory. So we get a match between Ray Mysterio and Austin Theory, and Ray's about to hit the 619 and win it until here comes the X Condom. He knocks Dom off the apron, but that allows Austin Theory to recover. Hit him with the A-Town down. One, two, three. After the match, Dom gets into it with Bad Bunny. Yeah. We love Bad Bunny. Hey, 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 hop, hop. I have a fit. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Anyway, he dropped the ex-con Dom, and then Damian Priest dropped him, slamming him through the table. Get well soon, Bad Bunny. Right, guys, guys, wait a second. Wait a second, guys, wait a second. We got Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn coming out. They got You Deserve It Chance, quite rightly. But they also got a, a certain song. They got a certain song that Sami Zayn often gets. It goes a little something like, Ole, 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 ole. A brilliant match then followed with the Street Profits. Let's hear it for the Street Profits, guys. Oh, 
We want the smoke every single day. I love you, Montez Ford. In the end, though, in the end, though, a stunner into a halluva kick. Brilliant sell from Montez Ford. Gives Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens the one, two, three. And then, I need your help again with this one. I'm really sorry, guys. I've been here for a, for a few days. My mind's kind of gone a little You're bit. You're doing great, bro. Seth Rollins. Yeah. Seth Rollins got a, he's got a, Seth Rollins has got a bit of a song. That was literally it. He just came out, they did that, and he went to the back, basically. It was weird. It was weird. It was weird. Then we got someone who should have been on WrestleMania, Bobby Lashley. Yeah. Bobby, 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 Bobby. I know technically he was on WrestleMania, but lifting a trophy does not really count as being on WrestleMania, let's be honest. Anyway, he smashed Mustafa Ali, despite how positive that guy is. Being with the Hurt Lock, being with the Hurt Lock, straightforward squash victory. Let's hope for more for Bobby Lashley this year, right? Now, ooh, Bobby versus Gunther, I like that. Yeah, uh, SummerSlam. <sighs> Tasty. Right, okay. I'm intrigued by this next one because we got, we got both women's champions coming out next and they were arguing basically about who is the best of the best. Who thinks Bianca Belair is the best of the best? <laughs> and who thinks, who thinks Rhea Ripley is the best of the best? More importantly than that, more importantly than that, who'd like to see those two face off at WrestleMania next year? Yeah! Book it, book it. Then we got a number one contenders match to determine the new number one contenders for the women's tag team titles. It was Liv Morgan uh, and Raquel Rodriguez versus Damage Guitaral. Uh, the Tejana bomb into the oblivion gave Liv and Raquel the victory, ladies and gentlemen. And then, then we got a guy who's not had a good weekend. Not a good weekend to be the Miz. But he he does he does have the best life, so I'll allow it. Sorry, Miz. So he he's talking It's a really aggressive Really aggressive. Tiny balls! Him told. So anyway, anyway, guys, the Miz, the Miz, the Miz is talking about WrestleMania. He's talking about all the surprises across WrestleMania, but none of them tonight until we hear Bro. Matt Riddle is back. Matt Riddle returns and lays out the Miz, and then it was time for your main event of the evening. Roman Reigns. Angle, main angle of the evening, very good point. Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa versus the weirdest tag team. Simon Miller said it best. That, that tag team match was straight out of 2K. Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa versus Cody Rhodes and Brock Lesnar. What? We were all we were all getting excited. Twenty years, twenty years since Brock Lesnar wrestled on Monday Night Raw, and he, I suppose technically he did here, but the match didn't even begin. Solo's ready. Solo's ready. Yeah, technically. As a man, 
As a man who has had his soul stared into by Solo Sokoa, you wouldn't be saying that if you were stood across from him, that's all I'm saying. Look, uh, Brock snatched up Cody, hit him with two F5s, beat the crap out of him, smashed him with a chair, hit him with the steps, and F5 through the announce table. Hasn't he suffered enough? No, he needs more punishment, pal. <laughs> the redemption arc for, for Cody Rhodes, ladies and gentlemen. The show, the, the show finished with an F5 on the steps in the ring. He broke a chair on his back. He left. It was a stretcher job for Cody Rhodes. Do we want to see Brock Lesnar versus Cody Rhodes at Backlash? Yeah. It's going to happen in Saudi because oh. of Saudi money. Say again. <laughs> no, I'm tired of Brock Lesnar. Do you think Cody's going to beat him? Oh, yeah. Like so he got the championship, but the championship is Brock. No. It's the redemption arc. It's surely the redemption arc, no? No. I want him to be the champion, Cody Rhodes. No. I just realized that you're a bit of a Cody Rhodes fan. Yeah. I'm a bit. <laughs> I'm right. a Cody Rhodes fan. Quite right. Quite right. But look. The two Cody, man. Something, Cody Rose. <laughs> something, something, Cody Rose. Look, ladies and gentlemen, that is what went down on the Raw after WrestleMania. Don't copyright strikers, WWE. <laughs> Look, ladies and gentlemen, that is what went down on the Raw after WrestleMania. But before I wrap up, I want to say a massive thank you to each and every one of you, because genuinely, we would not be able to do this without you guys. It has been an honor to do this this week. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Adam. Adam as well. Thank you, Adam. But I have, I have one question. I have one question before I go, ladies and gentlemen. And I think there's quite a few people with signs who are gonna have the right answer to this. Who's ready for Simon Miller? This has been What Went Down. Let us know your thoughts in the comments or on Twitter at WhatCultureWWE. And Simon Miller is here to present what is one of the best shows we do. Ups and downs on the Raw after WrestleMania. Make sure you check that out. I've been Adam Wilburn from What Culture, and I'll see you soon. Good night, everybody.